I just packed for my very first sleepaway summer institute for my fellowship to Armenia. And this is going to be three days, two and a half days of travel to get from Oklahoma to Chicago to Brussels to Armenia. So quite a long travel. And I don't plan on checking any bags. I don't want to pay for that. And I also want to make sure that I can carry everything because I have eight hours in Brussels by myself, or maybe we'll be meeting some other fellows there, but eight hours of moving around the airport or maybe taking some a trip outside of the airport with my bags. So I don't want to bring a lot of stuff. I want to pack light. So if you have any problems packing light or with overpacking, or you're nervous about going on a long-term sleepaway summer institute for educators, then this video is for you. So first, okay, I'm leaving tomorrow. So I'm having a little smoothie, spinach, blueberries, banana. Uh, oh yeah, do I have a little <laughs> electrolyte packet? I'm taking this electrolyte packet, ton of these with me on my trip because I wanna keep these with my water and if I ever feel lightheaded or super hot or need like a little sugar boost, even though it's sugar free. Um, I like to keep these with me too. So I'm hydrating. I went for a long walk. I'm stretching. I'm kind of prepping for my really long travel day tomorrow. So I know you're excited. You want to pack with me. So I'm going to take you there, but I want to tell you there's a game changer. And this was a huge thing for me because I've never used these before. And I think they were kind of silly, but my husband, my partner, Dan, uh, went and ordered these from Amazon. All right, so I didn't think, okay, they're just super large uh, Ziploc bags. Okay, and there's a little feature in them that like gets the air out, but I'm gonna show you how I use these. That totally allowed me to bring uh, my capsules, so all my shirts and pants and dresses and workout gear and four pairs of shoes, like you're not gonna believe it. So let's get in it. So today's packing day and I have laid out all of the things I plan to bring. So if you remember the dresses, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven dresses there. I don't think I'm going to bring all of them. So I might trade out one. Here's what's going into my carry on. I have two sets of clothing because I will spend, um, Quite a bit of, I'll be basically be leaving on Wednesday afternoon and I will be arriving in Yerevan on Saturday, Friday morning at like 1 a.m. <laughs> um, so I have clothes for the airport uh, on the first leg and then a change of clothes for the second leg and I'm wearing my gym shoes and I have my raincoat that I'm going to wear if I get cold and I also have a sweater, I mean um, a shawl that you've seen before and my water bottle and my laptop is going to go in there too. So I'm trying a little capsule thing. I have two pants and a skirt and three shirts and I'm trying to have a similar color scheme. I have my travel my day bag with a sweat towel <laughs> it's actually my husband's golf towel but it's going to be a sweat towel i have these snacks which are um what are they like generic version of cliff bars that i will always keep with me because i can one could last me a day if i ration it out with some water if i need to i'm going to bring a whole bunch of these electrolytes packets um, i got my disinfectant wipes my belts compression socks, all of my undergarments fit in this, and I have an extra bag, gay public radio, in case I need another bag. Over here are some of my undergarments. I'm going to mostly be wearing sports bras, and I have a little exercise clothing, though I don't know if I'm actually going to do that. I have a sweater and a shirt and another scarf, which are all super thin just for some layering, and then my shoes. But I just don't know if I'm going to bring all four. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to try to fit them into this one carry-on. Now, this I got from Walmart. <laughs> it 
It is super small. I've been using it for the last year on all of my travels. Uh, this might be the longest trip that I've taken, um, but I'm going to see how it works. I'm glad that it's summer, so I'll probably be able to fit more in there, but I'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just want to show you a little bit about how this thing works. We have the bag. I put almost all my pants and shirts in here. And you just roll. And it gets all of the extra air out. So that you can fit it a little bit better. All right, so here are my three compression packing. We got dresses, shirts, and pants, other dresses, three of those. And let's see how they work in the suitcase. Okay, here we go. One. I feel like I need to get more air out. Two. And three. Not bad. Look at that. Yeah. I think this is going to work. Alright, so all of my clothes are in this small, more shallow end of the suitcase. And let's pack the rest. Okay, I did it. I did it. So I, I got all my shoes in there. Dance goes, Timberlands, night clothes, snacks, disinfecting wipes, sports bras slash camis, This, Dan says, no, but I'm going to make it work. Yeah, it's going to zip. <laughs> it's going to zip. It's going to work. I did it. All that stuff in this little suitcase. Congratulations, me. All right, so going to a summer institute, which is for my fellowship, but could also be for any number of professional development that you do as an educator, it's not really the same as packing for a conference where you're going to be mostly at a convention center the whole time and it might be super cold so you're going to need sweaters and things like that. Summer institutes typically have time for a workshop or lectures from experts in the field and then excursions or visits to museums or memorial sites or schools. So you have to be packing basically for half the day to be a student and then the other half of the day to be a traveler an explorer and I don't think this is really easy to do and I hope I've packed well but I'm gonna definitely tell you what happens when I get back um, because we have you know um, kind of dressier kind of clothes and I'm trying to have like nice comfortable yet dressy shoes so I look professional and respectful because we're gonna be at the genocide museum we're gonna be at the university and I want to be respectful to the people and the places and the culture and the style of where I'm visiting. So I'm bringing more than I typically would. And you can see I was able to bring a ton in that one bag. And I can hopefully still lift it into the overhead travel bin. But I'll let you know how all of that goes. So stay tuned and follow me on my adventures. But if you have any other packing tips, please put them down below. Comment what you are interested in or appreciated about this. And... If you have any questions about fellowships or summer institutes or just this whole idea of going to a new place during my summer vacation, typically teachers like are supposed to have the summer off, but we don't, we don't have the summer off. We're still learning. We're still doing stuff. And this is two weeks of my life and lots of money invested in me from this fellowship program. So there's a lot invested in education. So we're not just like sipping. Well, I mean, let me have some more of my my shake. Yeah, I need to finish that and make sure I do. Okay. Yeah. Long story. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.